everyone in this video i will talk about one of the very useful feature which is lazy import so in order to understand this let's let's have a look at this code i am on my vs code and i am trying to create an numpy array having values 10 and 20 now if i will execute this code you can see that there is a name error saying np is not defined so how can we deal with this error so the one way to deal with this error is go ahead and import the required module which is numpy and let's define it alias as np now if you will run this code you can see that the error is gone let's quickly try out one more thing so i'm creating a data frame which is having two columns name and salary and i'm just trying to print this out so now you can see that again it is saying pd is not defined so it means if i have to handle this error i have to go ahead and say import pandas and alias as pd so doing this will resolve this error which is perfectly all right now what if you're working on a very large project which is having 10 to 15 such import statements on top how can you get rid of this? So this video is all about that. So the very important thing which we can do here is using PyForest module. So for using the PyForest, you need to go ahead and install using pip install PyForest. So as soon as you will run this, it will install the PyForest module for you. For me, it is already installed. That's why it is saying requirement already satisfied. Now, once the PyForest module is installed, you can simply remove these two things safely and say import PyForest. Now, let's have a look at this magic again. So, you can see that this time no error, nothing and we got the required output. Although we didn't include all those namespaces or the import statements, which are like denoting NP and PD. So this is the main reason uh, we are calling it as an lazy imports because we are not explicitly adding all the import statements or we are not explicitly adding all the individual libraries. So this is the benefit of PyForest and PyForest has so many, I would say modules defined in it. And if you want to have a look at it, you can simply say print and um, let's say a lazy imports oops here it is okay i will comment okay leave it like that and as soon as you will make a call to this lazy imports you will see that there are a bunch of modules which are imported for us so if you do not want to import any of these explicitly, you can simply say PyForest. So here you can say Keras is here, Dash is here. Similarly, you will find Pandas and NumPy. So this is Stats and this is here. From PySpark, we have Spark Context. And let me quickly, so this is for Regex. So all these are the very common modules which we usually use. I'm just looking for the, the one which is for TensorFlow is here and there should be something for pandas and numpy so we need to figure it out where it is in this sorry so it is there and this is the reason we are able to work with it so I'm not able to find out let me go through line by line So here you can see that pandas is defined. So similarly, if you will find, you will find NumPy for sure. And that's the reason we are able to deal with all these errors. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and thanks for watching.